Oh no. Bro, my jeans are getting more and more ripped at the knees every day. But it's it's so strange. But hey guys, hello. I, I, I don't know what I look like right now. Hopefully it's not too bad. I'm gonna put on a flannel for modesty reasons because whenever I wear anything, I always get comments like, I cannot believe you're wearing that. And it could just be anything. So modesty reasons guys. This is going to be the most unfiltered video, I guess. And the reason this is like a thing that's happening today is because I was just like, I don't talk unfilteredly. And like every video that goes into my main channel has like comes through like a bunch of edits. So when I'm editing, I'm consciously like thinking, should I say this? Should I say that? Like what's like the most appropriate thing to say? And I feel like in the process of that, sometimes I lose my authenticity. I also realized that I've recently been having a lot of thoughts and I was like, podcasts all the way but I know like I barely have the time to like handle one social media at the time and I cannot like do a bunch of different things. I have like such a difficult major that I'm having a difficult time with but I cannot see myself doing any other like studying any other thing. So let me go back to the start. Hi, I'm Zoya if this is the first time watching this video. I am, I'm from India. I'm Indian, fully, fully Indian. Um, and I live in China. So um, when I first like this video, I just want to like cover the decision of like what went into me going to China. Why did I, why did I decide to go to China? Do I regret it? What is life like in China? And just like, I don't know, just like what went over my brain. I also want to talk about like my major, what school is like in China, if China's for you. Because if you live in India, chances are you kind of have a negative perception of China, which is so normal. I think um, Western media and even Indian media to a crazy extent just portray China in a super bad light. But it's a really nice place to live, guys. Like, it's so safe, I think. Um, if you guys have followed me for a while, you guys know that I've lived in a bunch of different countries. But China is the country that I have felt the safest in. I don't know if this is because I'm a foreigner here or it's because I just live in like a safer area. But like the whole country is so heavily surveyed and if you're someone that like respects their privacy a lot, like you really really care about like the government not having surveillance everywhere, I think you would see this as a negative. But like as a woman who does not have the privilege to like walk around on streets alone at night because like of her safety I feel like China like kind of balances that out where I feel like equal to a man and I can also do those things um but yeah I don't know I, that was like a random like off-handed tangent but um I want to start with like the story of why I'm in China so when I was in my senior year of high school um and Oh my god, I saw people get over fights over this. She's like, why is she calling her in her senior year? She's so cringy. Guys, that is what they called it at my high school. So I just got used to it. But I will also say 12th grade. Um, so when I was in 12th grade, 12th standard, I basically was applying to a lot of colleges. I was doing an American diploma. So my first choice was obviously applying to a lot of American universities. And my school was a project-based school, which, and it was like an interdisciplinary school, which means that we didn't have like science, math, social science. We would do like projects and the projects would be like a mix of like math and social science. Sometimes it would be a mix of like physics and environmental science. Like projects had subjects in them and I wanted to like look for more interdisciplinary schools and that's how like I kind of like searched for things. I applied to like a lot of like traditional universities too. Now, the first part of this whole decision was when I told everyone that I'm going to China, people were like, China? Why? Did you not get into a better university? Did you, did like something happen to you? Why are you going to China? I was like, bro, I go to China. It's like one of the most selective universities in the world. Not just in China, in the world. And it's not because I didn't get into a better university. It's because this was probably the best university I applied to. Like compared to like, I know I didn't apply to any IVs really. It's definitely like one of like the top three or two, like lowest, like highest, like wait, extremely selective universities that I applied to. And um, it was like the best offer that I could have gotten from like my admissions, decisions, whatever. So people had like that 
suspicion they were like oh my god like she's probably dumb she probably didn't get into like a better school in like the us or europe and that's why she's going to china and at that point of time I, I did feel very judged but at the same time you cannot do things to like please people and you cannot make choices just to make them sound good to other people so obviously like hearing that like made me feel sad because i worked my ass off to get into like a good school that i was satisfied with and like having people like constantly like judge you at that point of time is obviously scary and it's like a little like putting your accomplishments down in some ways so I don't know that was just like a different time and I was like at some point I was also like really scared about going to China because um when it was announced that you have to go to China they announced that you might also have to quarantine for 10 days um China also has a completely different culture my Chinese was horrible at that point of time I think I could communicate the most bare minimum basic ideas but I couldn't like con like have a conversation with people I couldn't explain my problems Compared to that, my Chinese is so much better. And I think it was the best decision I could have ever made. Um, China as a country is so shockingly incredible. And like, ironically enough, is extremely similar to India in so many ways. Like culturally, sometimes the way people act, the way people talk to each other, it's, it's really similar to India. It's like, if you took like so many of like the nice, like, comfortable aspects of India and you put it in you would get China and also China is heavily heavily like developed so everything here is so convenient like I don't need to go out with a wallet I know most people will not accept cash even like it's just automat automated payments it's so easy to book taxis it's so easy to get around it's a lot cheaper than Europe or the US and that's why also if you're looking into universities right now I heavily recommend and save a lot of money throughout college just going to China because you don't have to pay the heavy housing you don't have to pay as much for food you save a lot a lot of money you guys if you guys think that tuition for your college is the only thing that costs money no you pay for living and that's like very separate and it adds on to like so much money at the end if you calculate if some of you guys have siblings or cousins that have gone abroad for their studies like you can probably ask them you spend so much money on like housing even so living in china is 14 times cheaper it's also people in china are so considerate towards foreigners i cannot tell you how nice people are to indians like how genuinely sweet and genuine compliments like when i tell people that i'm indian um and then they just like respond with like something nice always and even though it might not be genuine they always sound so genuine they'll discuss my culture with me and be like oh i love indian food i love bollywood bollywood is so big in china that that shocked me people have been nothing but nice to me i don't think i've met a single person i've lived here for like over six months now i've not met a single person that has misbehaved i've not met a single person that has been rude to me everyone is extremely nice i think sometimes people do stare because it's like who is this random creature especially in december when there were no foreigners in china as a foreigner people were just like really confused to see me around in china because china has been had been closed for like three years but now i don't think anyone really looks at me sometimes people will ask for photos like they'll come by you they'll take pictures with you they'll call you pretty and it's it's just really funny actually um but i I don't know, it's just like a part of living in China that I embrace now. I don't think these things would have happened with me in Europe at all. Um, but yeah, it just kind of reminded me of like India sometimes when I like do see people like taking pictures of foreigners. I don't think it happens anymore, especially not in big cities, in small towns for sure. Like I don't live in a big city in China. I live in a semi big city and it still happens sometimes. It, I feel like it has happened in Shanghai a few times, maybe once, but not much in Shanghai. Because Shanghai is a big international city. But yeah, I don't know. My experience was just like great with China. With my university as well, I think 
it, it's been so great. Oh my god, my university is so challenging. I did not do a lot of STEM through high school. I shifted more towards like liberal arts, especially like the intersection between arts and science because I was really interested in like neuroscience and psychology for a little bit. I thought that was my major. I applied to so many colleges with that as my intended major. And when I got to college, I took a psychology class and I hated it. I got so bored. I was like, wow, this is like, this class is really easy, but it's so boring. I think it was just the teacher. I don't think psychology is boring or easy at all. I think it's a really interesting in class still and I would love to like take it more but my first experience with psychology was like this is just like not for me um, and that's why I was also taking bio and chemistry at that point of time I was like wow like this is chemistry was a lot harder but it was like stimulating and I liked the challenge it felt rewarding oh my god I'm gonna get so flamed for saying that but after I took organic chemistry, that killed me, bro. Last semester, I had no balance in my life. I was either crying about school, or when I was not crying about school, I was rewarding myself because I was so burnt out about school. Like, it was just hard. So, I talked about this in one of my videos, like, finding balance. And, yeah, I think I'm, like, in a more comfortable spot with, like, my education, YouTube, like, going to the gym. I'm, like, getting back into the routine. It took me, like, six, six, like... No, it took me a whole year to just like discover balance in university and I didn't think college was going to be so much harder than high school because my high school was like a boarding school abroad so pretty similar to college I would assume but the workload in college was just like so much harder I think Duke especially is such a competitive school people have people don't have a mindset they have a grind set they everyone wants to like work hard everyone wants to like network everyone wants to like do internships work like people and like extracurricular sports like people have so much and they make time for so much and they need so much and then one of the biggest parts of college life is also to have a social life because I think the college experience is so glorified on media and like throughout my life you know like college are always painted out to be like the best years of your life so if I'm like not actively socializing and I'm someone that loves my own space I'm like so comfortable in my own space but sometimes I feel like if I'm not actively socializing I'm like wasting my time in college and that's also like such a maybe it's a useful mindset to have I don't know but yeah I <laughs> Yeah, college is just like hard and it took me a little while to find my balance. Um, I'm a rising sophomore now. In other words, it means I'm going to start second year soon. And it's summer break still, but I'm still like working and I'm doing classes and I'm doing part-time YouTube and like part-time social media. And this is the grind set. Like I don't think I've had like a more productive summer ever. I have to start doing calculus now in my summer as well because I'm taking it next semester and this girl cannot do math. Like, yeah. One of the reasons I thought about transferring at the beginning was just like how stigmatized living in China was like as an in Indian. And it shouldn't be because this is a great country and like all countries are beautiful and amazing in their own way and I'm so glad I made like a different choice I'm so glad I exposed myself to like different experiences instead of like finding comfort in a place I'd already lived in before I'm really happy I made this choice to save money and go to a cheaper country where I can actually like not overspend on like just more expensive things I'm so glad that I was able to like find more of a balance here and so grateful but yeah, this is all for today's video. I just wanted to talk to you guys about my experience and why the heck am I in China? Because I don't think I ever went into the depth and the detail of it. Um, but yeah.